Hello everybody, Zythe 9 here, and welcome back to another episode of Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Uh, man, that is such a long name for a game. <laughs> um, so in the last episode, we found out our next mission, or our first mission, is to find Hammond, which is the gearhead or the heart of the Ark. Uh, he took two stalkers with him to go north, and no one knows why. Uh, we're going to try to figure that out. So before we do that, though, we're in the Ark right now, and let's go ahead and maybe kind of figure out... What needs to happen here? I see question marks. Let's go Iridia shop. That seems like a good place to start. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. Preferably. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. All right, then. That's okay, cool. So you have hand grenades, molotovs, smoke grenades, med kits, pipe gun. Uh, cobbled together from various metal parts and pipes, this crude gun offers decent capacity and reasonable accuracy. Common stalker weapon, chronicler, Amadeus. Five damage. Oh, didn't mean to hit the mic there. Uh, five damage, crit damage six, crit percent ten, three ammo, 14 range. Now that's the highest range weapon that I've seen so far, which is nice, and then Ancient Scythe. So, in theory, the pipe gun could... Oh, I'm thinking in my head. So, I could equip somebody with a pipe gun, and then I can shoot somebody while I have two other... Like, while I have another stalker, like, hidden somewhere, and then they would come and attack. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. So, let's do Safe this. Um, I don't want to buy anything yet, because I don't know what else the scrap is going to be for. So, let's go to the Elder. My home will always be a haven to you, grave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. Okay, so what, no stories for me to become wise and strong right now? Okay, then. The Ark thanks you for your service. Be well. Thank you, creepy old man. Uh, next, Prip's Place. Bar. Nice. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prip's <laughs> for some high-quality grog. Gundus. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so yep, this is the place to spend artifact points. So, tough guy, extend crew bleed out time by two turns. So, been through a fair few fights over the years, both here in the bar and out there in the zone. At one time, I could crush a ghoul's head simply by using the raw power of my buttocks. I have questions about that. So did you do that during a fight or did you do it after a ghoul was dead and then test it? I... Okay, anyway, that's interesting that you know that. Uh, here, let me share some of my tough guy secrets. I guarantee you are going to get toughed up rather than roughed up. Okay. Mule unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. It's an age old problem. Sometimes you just need an extra pair of hands and you simply don't have the time to grow them yourself. Hence, I present to you the Fanny Pack. According to chroniclers, this was used by elite warriors called Marians, Mar Marians? <laughs> to store spare grenades for the times when two isn't quite enough to get the job done in a clean and precise manner. Are you trying to... Was this supposed to be Marines? I, I Okay, anyway. Dealmaker grants a 20% discount in Iridia Shop. Oh, okay. I'm glad I didn't spend anything then. Um... Iridia and I have history. I was in her crew back in the day. She was the best stalker we had. Nothing could touch her. It's a damn shame that the rot got to her, though. Okay, let's back up a second. What is the rot? They haven't told me what the rot is. Like, I'm guessing it has something to do with maybe the radiation, maybe, from the nukes. Um, 
Uh, anyway, uh, tell you what, I will put a good word in for you guys and see if we can get you a bit of friendly discount at her store. Aridia is a shrewd businesswoman, so the cut will be taken from somewhere else. Might mean that Volt doesn't get his vitamins for a while, but who needs hair, nails, and eyelids anyway, right? Damn straight. Um, I feel a little bad for Volt, but uh, eyelids? What? What? Uh, how do you lose eyelids? Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to do Dealmaker, because that seems like the most beneficial for me for right now. Delta's Fixed Pit. All right, upgrade weapons times. Want to know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Nope, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, so this one I want to do. I currently have two upgrades that I want to attach to my crossbow. The reason why the crossbow is because it's currently my longest range weapon. I want to make it longer, so I'm going to do 12 range. So this is going to add two, so 20%, 12 range. Um, and then... Let's see here. Uh, weapon damage. Increased crit damage. Uh, and the chance to burn enemies. Cool. So here's... Let's... Oh, what's this? Oh! That increases damage and crit damage if I upgrade the weapon. Okay, wait. Hold on. Does that the same? Upgrade damage and upgrade crit damage. Okay. Okay. How about this one? damage and crit damage all right well this here's the nice thing about this this particular gun has a higher crit chance so i probably should upgrade that one maybe here's the thing i currently only have 38 weapon parts so i can only upgrade one i'm going to upgrade this first we'll start with that okay Take it easy. okay okay let's go back to radio shop um oh. Brave stalkers ooh. return. Here's the thing. Alive. That's I can now, surprising. Ooh. I can now buy the pipe gun. Uh, uh. Because of the 20% discount, I can now buy the pipe gun. You know what? Let's do it. I don't know who I'm going to give it to, but let's do it. Hi. Um. You know what? Uh, let's do this. Boom. Here's the thing. The pipe gun is not, again, I repeat, is not silent. So I got to be careful about which one I'm using. Um, let's see. Mutations. You have three points. You have one point. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm decked out. Let's keep going. Hammond's cabin. Just north of the Ark on a steep cliff lies the outpost of Hammond the Stalker. It is a simple wooden cabin that does not offer the occasional visitor much. This is where Hammond spends much of his time, always on the lookout for the unexpected. I don't know why that's a question mark at the end. Okay, but we're going to go here. Let's do it. So, interesting, 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 interesting. Butcher ghouls look weedy, but they can always deal a large amount of damage up close. Good to know. Butchers are the are meleeers, I guess. So, let's do this. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. <laughs> Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman. <laughs> ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. I like how they use duck a lot in this to uh, represent a different word. It's, uh, it's entertaining. Um, okay, oh, I see something red on my compass. Oh, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What's a zone dog? Why do you have so much health? Get to level five. These That's fine. These campsites always get my feathers twitching. Hundreds of them out Hand here. grenade. All full oh, of ghosts oh, 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 shivering nope, in nope, the cold. Nope, 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 Okay, I need, uh, okay, I'm going to hope he comes back this way. Split up. Alone. And boom, ambush. Okay, activate. I'm gonna go over to you. Oh crap! There's another zone dog over there. Okay, activate. Okay, put you on Overwatch. Overwatch. I'm going to shoot. Nope. Hold on. Let me walk out a little bit. Here, staying close to the tree. That's fine. You can see me. 
but I want to make sure that I fire. Boom. Okay. Yep, enemy heard me. That's fine. And then... Enemy turn. All right, ducks. Yes! Beautiful. Okay, now we got the other zone dog coming. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, let's walk here. And shoot. Awesome. Knocked him back. So, crossbow out of ammo, but the new pipe gun is not. Bingo. Yeah. Okay, cool. That worked out pretty well in my favor. So, another level up. Uh, I don't remember how many points they each had. So, okay. Ducks has four now, so I'm going to do knee shot. Cool. Warman has two points. Great. Love it. Uh, okay. All right. Scrap hunter. Hunting all the scrap. Let's see. And weapon parts, preferably. Preferably. Okay, yep. Weapon parts. Broken gun. Great. More scrap. Okay. Is there anything else? Am I missing anything? Da, 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 da. Oh, yep. More scrap over this way. Okay. Cool. Oh, uh, regroup. Coming. There we go. It's always weird that he just teleports to me. It's just odd. Um, when he's like super far away, he just teleports. Otherwise, he walks over. It's still weird. Okay. Cool. So that was a nice little encounter. Um, let's see here. What are we going to run into? Oh, more scrap over here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Cool. Um, we should check Hammond's cabin like the elder asked us to. I can't go this way, apparently. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Big spaceship type thing? Investigate. Wow. Whoa. Check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. So, satellite maybe? Probe? I don't know. I would imagine there's stuff around it. Yes. Oh, oh, come on. Perfect. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Prefer not to walk around in circles too much if I can help it. Oh, scrap. Nothing else here. But a little tent and bike there. Um, ooh, barrels. Can I shoot these? Do I do? Can't do anything with these? No. Okay, that's sad. I want to shoot barrels and make them explode. Ooh, purple. Purple, 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 purple. Oh, and of course there are things there. So let's do this. What the hell is a shaman? Um, okay, I'm going to hide you here. Split up. And then I'm going to hide you. Oh, scrap. Okay. That's it. Hide. Cabin. Okay. Let me guess. Oh, okay. That's not happening. Uh. Side. Him. Okay, so, um, <laughs> uh, oh, that was close. I think if I had not hit ambush at that point, I probably would have been spotted. So, activate. Let's see what we got here. So, I don't know what the shaman does, but I also don't know if I want to know. So, activate. Let's go overwatch. Overwatch. And I want to shoot the shaman and hope that it hits. Please hit. Okay, good. Okay. Now that that hit. Move. Okay. Yes! Okay. Cool. Okay, Hunter moved out. Marauder's there. Ooh, ouch. That was rude. Um, okay, how can I do this? Uh, oh, wait, don't I have a grenade? Molotov, Molotov. No, I have a... 
No, that's a smoke grenade. Oh, I had a hand grenade, but I don't think I equipped it. Okay, that's fine. Um, how do I want to do this? I want to... Because I want to flank this guy for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, switch to the pipe gun. Rotter, 75%. Okay, let's see. Walk back this away. And shoot. Yes. Cool. That works out. Um, God, I don't like that Borman has only half health right now. Okay, we're going to initiate run and gun. Uh, mutation cooldown. Some mutations lock once used and require a set number of enemy kills to unlock. Easy said and done. So, um, let's see here. Let's sprint to here. That at least gives me some cover. Nope. Can I sprint back? Yeah, I like that. Let's sprint back here. And then let's shoot you right there. Nice. And it destroyed the cover. Not like it really matters because he's going to run away. Ooh. Uh. Oh, I missed. Okay. Good. Um, scatter gun. Yep. And hey, buddy. Guess what? <laughs> cool. Regroup. Yeah, awesome. We'll turn the light on. Ooh, new weapon mod. Uh, Noatin. EMP-30. One additional critical damage. 20% chance to disable robotic enemies. Robotic enemies? Really? Okay. Uh, damage module. Enclave Power Brick, which when equipped will give a chance of the weapon emitting electrical projectiles. These can be used to do additional damage to mechanical enemies. Chronicler Elvis. Okay, well... Uh, far looker. This tube-like object gives its users the ability to view distant objects up close. Might also come in handy as a weapon if you get in a tight spot. Chronicler Pegasus can I actually use it as a this weapon. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire because when I looked into it, everything became. I did not mean to pick up a note. Um, season pass. I'm forced further out into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. Zone dog camp. Uh, from time to time, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even in locations I imagined were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found due west of the fallen machine. There appears to be the remains of an ancient camp, complete with transportable hut. The location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs for, for who, for some reason, tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. They pick off wandering ghouls, and I leave them alone. This unusual symbiosis works uh, for me quite well. Amazing what the ancients could make. Okay, so... And didn't really mean to interrupt Borman's little dialogue there, but that's fine. Uh, okay. I think. Okay. I think I, there's nothing else out here I can pick up. All right. Let's go in. See if there's anything inside besides the objective. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what this does. Zongul stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Doug aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. That tends to happen. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. 
It's dangerous. Dux thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Okay, well, road to Eden, indeed. So, Eden is a place that apparently is a... I don't care oh. about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade-A certified loony. No one goes up there, Foreman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. The ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling in my feathers. Okay, so what I was saying is that uh, that explains the title of the game, Road to Eden. So uh, Eden apparently being a fairy tale doesn't help very much, but we'll kind of find out as the story progresses. Uh, knocking enemies off high places will damage or possibly kill them. That is a good tip. Let's see here. Uh, start left again. I've never been this far from the Ark before. Talk about undiscovered country, huh? You think we finally left the ghouls behind? Yeah, me neither. Hello, camp with skeleton. Let's see here. Da 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 da. da. My brain must be rotting. Is that a beautiful Ooh. woman I see before me? Wait, I know that beautiful woman. She's a stalker. Okay, so she's a stalker. It's weird. She showed up as a red silhouette, so that freaked me out for a second, but the way he was talking, it seemed okay. Plus, I didn't see, like, a line of sight uh, type thing like the other enemies had given. Just, I don't know why she's red. That doesn't seem right. It's weird. But okay, we're gonna walk up to her and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get shot, because that would not be the best. Would would not be my favorite. Um, also, Borman has like no health. Uh, well, that's not true. He has half health. Uh, I should probably heal him. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. And Selma, I am. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Dux, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole lock? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. <laughs> I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices. Not from the zone. In our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. Interesting. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Okay, well, I'm guessing... Yay, she got added to my team. Cool. Um, okay, now let's take a look at some points here. Three points. Someone has seven. Okay, so she has Joker, which is the taunt. Super tendons. Reach high places by simply moving or sprinting in combat. It's a passive mutation. Your leg tendons have become mutated, making them thicker and stronger. You are now able to move or sprint to high places freely and without the use of a ladder. Yes. And then, oh, yes. Flaming eyes and boom. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, tree hugger. Major mutation. Area effect. Uh, disables enemy movement for one turn. Ooh, I like that. Rec uh, records say that some agents would talk to their pet plants. Pet plants. If I, if I can talk. Uh, the plants then would react to the sound of their master's voice. Somehow you are now able to do the same, except with trees, which can be commanded to bind enemies with their twisted roots. Yes. That sounds awesome. And... Kaboom! Yeah, that is a long animation. All right, cool. So 12 movement, 10 throw, 6 health. I never even noticed that. 
10 health, 12 movement, 10 throw. Okay, speaking of throw, let's talk about what each person actually has. So, you, let's see, let's equip this to you. Now, you only also ha only have one weapon, so I can equip one of those to you. Yeah, all right, cool. I like it. I like that a lot. Um, let's see here. Now, before I continue on, now that I have a third person, let me go back. So, if I hit M, it brings me to the map. Can I fast travel to the Ark? I can. Okay, let's go back to the Ark. Um, I want to see if there's anything new I can pick up now that I have a little more scrap, some more weapon parts, um, maybe some other type of thing. Now that I have Selma. I'm happy that you took on okay. this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. Story time, a apparently. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Fun. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Probably. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the ancients. That would be us. We don't worship the ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. Oh. We took you in, taught you, and now you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Interesting. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Okay. It gives me a little more backstory Fair on well. us. Remember your elder's guidance. Thanks, creepy old man. Okay, so, oh, ooh, question mark over ready shop. Yes. Give me something good. Typical standard issue med pack. Heals all types of wounds. Fast acting. Just slap it on and you're good to go. Okay, cool. Um, I will say that having more med packs probably isn't the worst idea. So I'm going to buy one. Um... Okay. Safe travels. Yep. Do you, does your shop like does your shop refresh ever? Hopefully it does at some point. Heard you met some of them ghouls in the weird outfits out there. They call them shamans or something. Oh, yes Their I did. screams alert nearby ghouls and sends them running straight for you. Next time you see a shaman, oh. shut him up before all hell breaks loose. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad that I killed the shaman first then. Uh also glad that you decided to tell me that after I encountered the shaman? Like, that doesn't seem great. Um, let's see here. Uh, I think I want to do this. So, this has the damage module. So, additional critical damage and chance to dis disable robotic enemies. Here's the thing, though. The scatter gun has a higher crit percentage. So I want to actually do it on this one. 
I like that. Take it easy. I like that idea. It's it's better. Okay. And with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.